Hi guys, Mark Wood here and welcome to another video tip and in today's tip I'm going to give you a two second drill that's going to get you drawing that golf ball instantly. So it's such an easy way to learn how to draw a golf ball. So guys if you're new to my channel and this is one of the first times you've checked out any of my videos then please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I make free golf tips on a weekly basis which I upload to all my social media channels and I'd love to, you to be part of that journey, just really want to start to help you um, play better golf no matter where you are in the world. Um, so without further ado, let's get into today's tip of giving you that little two second drill which is going to get you drawing that golf ball. So what you're going to need for this is a tennis racket. So I want to talk about the role of that right arm as you're going through the strike to give you the feeling of drawing that golf ball. So we know, and I've done videos on this before, launch monitor data, we know for right-handed golfers that the club path needs to be in to out. So if we've got our target line here, we need the path of that club to be in to out. So say to hit a, a nice controlled draw, you want your path, say, three degrees in to out, and we need the club face close to that path by about half. So if the path is three degrees in to out, we want the face to be like 1.5 degrees close to that path, which means the face is 1.5 degrees open to target. So don't get too sort of, um, sort of caught up in numbers because today is more about the feeling of the role of that right arm in the swing, which is going to give you control over that club face to hit a draw. So tennis racket, left arm behind your back and just literally make some little swings, feeling that tennis racket's closing over. So what I mean by that is the tennis racket goes behind you, it works out in front of you on that into out path, and you're gonna start to get the, um, the target side of the racket to be turning over as you're coming through the strike. So it's into out path, racket, turning down to the ground as I go through. So I'm gonna do that towards the camera. So here's my into out path, and you can see that's a racket turning down to the ground. Now if I was coming through leaving the, the racket face side up, that's me leaving the club face open, big shots out to the right. So the feeling of that racket turning over and down to the ground gives me that feeling, like I say, of that into out path and the feeling of that club face, if you like, closing. And that's going to start to give me that draw sensation that I've been looking for in my right arm and my right hand. So let's put that onto a club. So you're going to get your golf club, you're going to grip it right hand only, when I grip it right hand only I put both hands on, then I take my left hand off, puts my right hand in the right position then, and I want you to make a few little swings back and through without hitting any balls for a minute, creating that same sensation. So there's that into out path, I can feel that my right arm is releasing over, which is closing that club face for me, so I've got that into out path with the club face closing, so this is what it's like towards the camera. So in to out, club face closing. That's the feeling that I want in my right arm. So therefore, let's go ahead and hit a few shots and see if we can create the same sensation. So in to out, club face closing. And like I say, these aren't gonna be your, your best ever struck shots, but all you're trying to do is get that sensation of that club moving into out with that face closing. So here we go again, in to out, club face closing. Once you've done a couple of those, you can then put both hands on the grip and start to hit the golf ball in your normal grip and normal position. But have a few practice swings first. In to out, club face, closing. Feel that right arm releasing and closing. And then from there, go ahead and hit one. Perfect. So you can see just by starting to get that right arm, the sensation in the right arm of how it's working and releasing, you're gonna find hitting a draw shot so much easier to do. 